let me introduce your masters of the gridiron, the Stale Academy Football! At quarterback, the league leader in touchdown scored and cheerleaders dated, the man with the golden arm and the golden charm, Aldrin Pesky! <laughs> Next, their entire defensive line, George! And finally, what's his name? What's because something, something, the ugly boy, yada, 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 and some of the guys who, you know, do stuff. Oh, will this squad be a pathetic pile without you? Shh, shh. I'm here. Aldrin's here. And with a week yet before the big game, let's not forget about another fine tradition. Tomorrow's homecoming foot race. This year's prize, a brand new uber fleshy scooter. <laughs> Sonic chrome, blue flames on the side, make your mouth hang open, make your eyes go blind. <laughs> Look at that thing! Oh, if that were mine, I'd be living the sweet life. Buongiorno, senor Frenchman! Ah, bella mucho! Magnifique, Italian guy! Lifestyle. I gotta have that scooter. I gotta win that race. Mwah, mwah. What the heck was that about? Who's my little girl? This is my little girl. Aldrin, quick favor. Tomorrow at school, you mind winning that homecoming race for your adorable little sister? Sweet. Whoa, whoa. The big game's coming up. The whole town's counting on me. Why would I waste my time racing a bunch of amateurs for you? Because it's easy for you. You just show up, do your little runny thing, bada-bing, bada-boom. I get my scooter lifestyle. You know why winning is easy for me? Because I am excellent at everything I do. Was I born excellent? Uh, yeah. Yes, you were. No, I was not. I was born great. I became excellent. To get from great to excellent took years of training and gallons of sweat. Okay, that's gross. Look, here's what I'm prepared to offer. You win me that race, and I take the trash out for you for a month. Deal. Mwah, mwah. Yuck. Best of luck to everyone. Woo! Aldrin. Okay, since there's no prize for second place, those of you not named Aldrin may want to delay your shoes and go on hold. <laughs> that said, on your marks, get set, go Aldrin! Oh, I never oh, win. Sonic crawl, blue flames of the sun. Finally, we are one. <laughs> my wing! My ankle! Aldrin, oh, speak to me, son. I think I've sprained my wing. But at least my little sister got the scooter she wanted. <laughs> this is all because of you? You put your personal transportation needs ahead of winning the homecoming game? You disgust me. But I didn't! You see, I never remember Selfish! Hey, bro. How you feeling? Oh. I feel horrible about all this. When you get better, you can totally ride my scooter. Whatever. Yeah. I'm gonna scooter out to the countryside, maybe look for some windmills. Can I get you anything while I'm out? Maybe some more tissues. I've been crying quite a lot. Tissue, got it. See ya! Buongiorno, fellow classmates! Dude, I've heard what you've done to my rugs. <laughs> this isn't what the scooter lifestyle is supposed to be. How am I supposed to? 
supposed to live my scooter lifestyle when the whole town blames me for your injury? Remember the good old days when I could function? You gotta play in the homecoming game. Everyone hates me and I'll never get my scooter lifestyle if you don't. Look at me! Do I look like I can play? There must be some way you can get healthy in time. Well, maybe. Just maybe. If I allow my body to get 100% rest between now and the game, I might be able to play. Great! But that means that not only will you have to take out the trash for me, you'll have to do everything for me. Deal. Whatever it takes to get my scooter lifestyle. Shake one of your own hands and pretend it's mine. So what do I gotta do here? Quick waxy once over? I find it takes 12 coats for an excellent wax job. I ain't doing 12 coats. Look, Maggie, I do things one way excellently. If you're not gonna do an excellent job, I'll just have to... Ah! Oh, do it myself! No, 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 no! I'll do it, I'll do it! <laughs> First coat, Buffer slides you. Twelfth coat, you slide Buffer. <gasps> and now to mow the lawn. I find mowing with scissors produces the most excellently precise lawn. You've got to be kidding me. Ah, uh, guess I'll have to do it. <laughs> no, 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 don't move. I'm on it. I, I can't do this. A steady hand begins with a steady mind. <laughs> See all those bricks on the left side of the garage? They need to be stacked on the right side of the garage. I'm not even going to ask. Man, this thing's heavy! My arm's gonna fall off! Things are heavy when you let them be. Let them be light. Excellent. Excellent. Precisely how I would have done it. Excellent. All right, champ, it's almost game time. What are you doing? Why aren't you in your football uniform? Oh, uh, who am I kidding? I'm nowhere near excellent right now. Hey, have you forgotten everything you've taught me? Excellent isn't up there. It's in here. You're right. I... <clears throat> Need to conserve strength. Push me to the stadium? Excellent. I know a shortcut! Quick! Over there! Through the skating rink? Just do it! Whoa! Whoa! Wait! My 12th coat, you slide buffer! I can do this! The stadium! Almost there! Just let it be light. Steady mind. You hear that, Maggie? Yeah! That's for me. But this, this is for you. back and fires a bomb to his favorite receiver. Another touchdown from Aldrin to Aldrin! And that does it for this year's homecoming. Redemption! Buzzdale deals out another old-fashioned bug whooping thanks to Aldrin Askey. How could you trick me like that? Because, Maggie, you got this scooter thanks to my excellence. But to have your scooter lifestyle, um, that excellence had to come from you. <laughs> Lucky girl. Now you get a scooter and a lesson. My scooter! My fancy lifestyle! <laughs> At least
least you get to keep the lesson! Hmm, the lesson lifestyle. Don't like it. Oh, I can't believe we don't get the new Flamin' Moss album and me, Gunther! Should I have him sign my wing or my thorax? Gunther's at the record store for an album signing, not a body part signing. That said, the thorax, always a thorax. Do you think he'll let you play your new song for him? Of course he will. We have a connection. When I play him this song, he's gonna love it. Who knows where it could lead? I said another broadburst, woman! Ugh, I should have quit fantasizing while I was ahead. That's weird. Everyone seems so quiet. Hey, Jim Shorts, what's going on? Did you hear? Gunther's had an accident. He got hit with the drumstick during the drummer solo. Oh, it was awful. <laughs> Why, Gunther? Why not me? Tragic. <gasps> They're taking him to Sticky Feet Hospital. Oh, look how tight security is. We're never gonna get through to see Gunther. <gasps> hey, how come that girl in the ugly dress gets to walk right in? Because she's a honey striper. Hmm? What's religion got to do with it? Honey stripers are hospital volunteers. Some kids actually use their free time to help others. Helping others? It's an interesting angle. Next! You sure you want to go through with this? You do realize this is a hospital with sick people, blood. You get queasy when somebody hiccups. Please, I'm not that squeamish. Lunch lady? That's nurse lunch lady. <laughs> what, you think just because I shovel slop at your school, I can't also care for the less fortunate? No, but with two jobs, I just can't imagine when you find time to sleep. Oh, I pick my moments. So now, let's discuss how to make our meals more appetizing for the children. <laughs> now listen, girlies, make no mistake. As long as you're here, I own your stripes. I decide where you go, what you do, and which patients you see. Got it? Great. Now let's go spread the love! Good morning, Mr. Flyzer. What can we do for you? Can you fix my bum wing? Can you make me whole again? Huh? Can you, honey striper? Can you? No. You want some juice? Okay. Uh, and uh, maybe a little Danish. Right away. I'll go get one. Stat. That's hospital talk for right after I find out what room Gunther's in. Oh, great. And what am I supposed to do? Sir, would you like your pillow fluffed? <laughs> No one's ever asked me that. Yes, yes, I would. Go ahead, Rena. Make a difference. <laughs> Oopsie. Gunther, Gunther, Gunther! Ninth floor, here I come. Going somewhere pesky? Me? No. Uh, I was just coming up to your office to tell you what a super fantasious job you're doing. Why don't you follow me, Pesky? I've got a special job that's perfect for you. <laughs> How long do I have to keep rubbing them? Until she feels something. Feel anything yet, Mrs. Bugstud? Oh! I didn't even know she started. <laughs> We got for some juice. We are. Juice break. Thank bug you are here. This honey striper stuff is awesome. After fluffing Mr. Flazer's pillow, he really opened up to me. And now I get to push the juice cart. Fascinating. You juice up Bigfoot, I'm off to serenade a rock star. Take your time. I'm really starting to enjoy this. <laughs> Good juice. Oh, it's more than juice. It's healing nectar. Tastes like juice. <laughs> Phew! <laughs> Look, children, it's our friendly honey striper, Maggie! Yay! 
I was just telling Gilbert here that removing a Band-Aid is no big deal. No, it'll hurt! <laughs> you got that right. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't hurt a bit. Especially if you do it in one swift motion. But... So, how is that, Maggie? Great. No problemo. Yay! Ah! Hey, Maggie. You know this helping people thing? It makes me so happy. I've discovered a new part of myself I didn't even know existed. Great, we'll have Gunther sign it. Excuse me, girl. Can you help me? Ladies, I can't find my dentures. I was halfway through lunch and they just shot out. Should be easy to spot. I was eating split pea soup. Nope, nothing. Later. Here they are. Thanks, kid. You're an angel. Oh. Shh. Sick people. Uh, Dr. Mosquito, we'd very much like to observe you treat that man who suffered the horrific drumstick accident. Come down. Yes, right this way. But first, let's stop for a little snack, shall we? Thirsty? I'm good. I've been watching you, Cutlight. You have the gift. The Honey Striper Calling. A divine need to help others and fluff pillows. I had it myself when I was your age. That young rock and roller moth. He needs you, my child. His pillows, they're packed down. Go to him. Where I'm needed, I go. Fear not, fair Gunther, for your Honey Striper is here. Oh, wunderbar. How about fixing my busted remote? Pass it into my healing hands. <sighs> You're good. Rena, you got in? You rock! And so do you, Gunther. Maggie, things have changed. I've been put here to help. Uh-huh. Oh. I don't think you understand. Rena, what's gotten into you? Goodbye, my child. But... Try to eat some pudding, Gunther. Oh, come on. Not even for the choo-choo? Choo-choo-choo-choo-choo-choo. Woo-woo! Uh, Honey Striper Rena, Nurse Lunch Lady needs your help on the third floor. Stat. Worry not, Gunther. I will return. Hello, Gunther. Get ready to be dazzled. No, trust me, you're gonna love it. No, it's not that. Honey Striper, hold this for me. More blood, Doctor? Yes, please. Mmm, refreshing. Stop this craziness! Who are you? Just a honey striper who refuses to let a rock legend like Gunther have his surgery be ruined by soulless elevator music. Let's rock this OR! Get her out of here. Nine, no, let's go play, man. <laughs> okay, but sanitize that guitar. So, what do you think, Gunther? Gunther? Sorry, miss. As soon as you started, he went out like a light. But that was my song. My big chance. How could he just fall asleep? Well, I'm pretty sure he doesn't want to be awake when I do this. <laughs> What's with her? How could you abandon your post like that, Striper? I never would have if I hadn't been shamelessly tricked by my best friend. 
Nurse Lunch Lady, whatever punishment you had in mind for the two of us, I'll do them both. All right, then. I'm putting you on mop detail. Here's your drool mop, your upchuck mop, oh, and your just-in-case mop. What's the just-in-case mop for? Oh, when you see some, you'll know. Up next, he thinks you smell good. Get ready to cha-cha-cha with Bear in the Big Blue House, right here inside Playhouse Disney.